Greetings, Phil here, head of research at Morales and your tutor and mentor as a Morales Money Pro member. Now, if you're not a Morales Money Pro member yet, don't worry. This is going to give you a great introduction into what we offer and explain to you the benefits and features of the best Web3 community available today. Now, as an important side note, there are some elements in this video that are already a little bit outdated. That's because every single week we make improvements to Morales money. One of our recent improvements is the advanced security score, a custom curated security parameter that we have built in house. It's designed to catch things like rug pulls, like scams, like other things such as dangerous tax and fees when moving an asset in order to keep you from losing money on coins that you choose to invest in. Now, like anything, it's not foolproof, and some people might choose to use a combination of the DEX score that we talk about and the advanced security score in order to find the best combination for you. We'll talk about those search combinations here in a little bit, but let's get started. Welcome to your Morales Money Pro introductory video. Here we're going to go through our tools, how we use them each and every day to customize our own strategies through the Morales Money interface. Morales Money is a complete blockchain tool, a one-stop shop for everything that you need in crypto trading. Now, this doesn't mean that we don't also sometimes refer to other resources. In fact, some of these resources are linked right within Morales Money for ease of access for you and to make your journey even more complete as you compare all the various aspects before taking a position in something. Let's dive in together on how we use these bespoke tools to get an edge in today's market. First up, we have the main Morales Money homepage. Here, we're able to view a list of top assets ranked based on today's trading volume. Selecting the Explore Coins tab at the top presents even more live coin features. The Live New Coins link provides a list of all of the coins being minted across the tracked networks. Selecting the tab on the right side allows us to select the network that we want to view the newly minted coins on. Notice that some networks have a lot of newly minted coins today and others not so many. Keep in mind, newly minted coins includes everything that's appearing on the blockchain. That includes scams as well as legitimate projects and vetting is certainly necessary before going further with any of these assets. In an effort to eliminate some of the scam assets that are out there, a pre-populated query or Specific strategy is provided under the top recently minted coins with experienced buyers button. Here we see a pre-populated strategy where coinage is considered to be less than 30 days, security score provided by DEX tools is 80 or greater, and experienced net buyers is 100 or more. Each of these categories are further customizable and can be set to any parameters you choose. Simply changing one of the metrics is also an option. Once changed, the selection is henceforth expanded. The third option under Explore Coins takes us to the Token Explorer. Here to develop our own strategy, we're gonna remove all but the top category. Here, selecting a simple category to start with. We're gonna go with Market Cap. And here we're looking for market caps of less than 100 million. But we're going to add some additional categories as well, because here we're going to relax the security score to as low as 55. And finally, we're looking at coins that are less than one week old or seven days. Finally, selecting run strategy. Here we see that in the past seven days, nothing with a greater security score than 55 and with a market cap of over 100 million, has launched on the Ethereum network. If something were to appear in this category, though, we'd likely want to know. What we can do in order to secure this strategy for automatic monitoring is select the Save Strategy button. Here we'll define the name 100 million 
7 Days, Ethereum, Selecting Save Strategy. Selecting the Save Strategies button at the top allows us to view our strategy alongside other ones that we've previously established. Selecting the bell icon allows us to establish an alert based on our strategy. Using the slider allows us to specify how often we'd like to receive the alerts. Options of 1 day, 12 hours, and 4 hours are available at this time. Here we'll select Start Monitoring. Strategies and alerts can be later modified and removed via the menu on the right side. Okay, so here I want to take a minute to discuss a bit of strategy. There's a couple different ways you can go about these alerts. Number one, if you identify a certain set of search parameters that are giving you results that you really like, then it makes sense to set up monitoring on that so you can see when new tokens pop up within the category. Alternatively, if you found an area like I have with many of my alerts where there are, isn't a lot of token activity, but if there were to be token activity within those parameters, it would be something interesting to you. Then setting up the alert helps you to act as soon as something populates in that category. Of course, even this can be a bit daunting. When you take a look at the menus and you see all of the different categories available to specify, I would recommend starting with three different things. First, market cap. Why? Well, market cap helps you to know what level of coins you're dealing with. If you're talking about an asset that has billions in market cap, then the potential for increase is probably not as much as one that has millions or hundreds of millions of market cap, and so on and so forth. Now, as we move down into lower market caps, we also increase another parameter, and that's risk. And we need to be careful of that as well, or at least cognizant of it, so that we take it into account when developing our strategies. The other area that I would definitely take a look at is deck score. The reason for this is even though the deck score is not a bulletproof, 100% reliable way to avoid scams, it does help avoid some of the worst pitfalls of smart contracts. If a token is literally unsellable with 100% sell tax, you want to know that before you even attempt to buy it on the open market, because 100% sell tax would mean that you're unable to sell it later on, and that it's a complete scam. Dex tools will save you from situations like that, but there's other situations related to rug pulls or honey pots that it may not catch, and the reason for that is the tricks that are being played are not necessarily written into the smart contract. They have to do with how the liquidity is being manipulated on the back end based on the exchange that's being favored for the asset. All of these things come into effect, especially when you're dealing with very high risk assets and using that deck score can help to avoid some of the issues we face. Of course, your own due diligence is going to be necessary. A lot of points too, especially when you're dealing with the most high risk risk of situations. The third factor I'd consider right away whenever you're developing your initial strategies is experienced buyers. Why is this? Well, experienced buyers is going to remove a couple of different things. Number one, if somebody launches a brand new address just in order to buy an asset and then basically hide it from the other assets that they're messing with, that's not going to show up. That address wouldn't be identified as an experienced buyer because it doesn't have enough transaction history yet. So by selecting experienced buyers, especially to the tune of 100 or more, we're removing the possibility that someone is simply faking ownership through a large array of different addresses they may be algorithmically created in one afternoon. What we want is real buyers, and experienced buyers category helps with that on a small extent. Now granted, more sophisticated tricks to faking addresses may still get around it, so be aware of that as well. Well, experienced buyers still remains one of the best categories to get you started if you're trying to identify real purchases on chain. Feel free to set that metric a little higher if you want to limit risk in that area. Of course, additional due diligence on the specific protocols that you find is always important. Let's get back to Morales Money and take a look at some of the other features that you may enjoy while using this product, especially if you're just getting into the pro version. So far in this lesson, we've, we've taken a look at saved strategies. Well, first I wanna direct everybody's attention to the community tab. Now that you're a pro member, it's very important that you join us in the Morales 
money community. The reason for this is we have a lot of in-depth discussions there where we're avoiding scams, identifying good opportunities, and talking about the biggest narratives in crypto right now. If we notice something that's dangerous, scary, or unusual, this community is going to be the first place that we raise that information. This means that every single day, we at Morales, along with the dedicated members of the Morales Money community, are working hard to protect each other so that we can really capture the zeitgeist of what's going on each and every week. Don't forget to join us for the Monday live streams at 6 p.m. Central European time. I personally am there along with both of our founders most of the time and many of our wonderful community members. I hope to see you there as well. Last up, our pricing tab finally gives info on the pricing for Morales Money, which I'm sure you're already aware of. And lastly, we have the Alerts tab. Now, the Alerts is one of the most exciting new features of Morales because it allows you to assign alerts not based on specific search parameters, but based on specific tokens that we're watching. And here's where this comes into play. So let's head on back over to our save strategies. And here we're going to take a look at low cap hip stuff on Ethereum that's popped up recently. Since we're not getting anything under the experienced buyers in the last hour, we're going to go ahead and relax this to the past week. This generates for us a nice long list of assets. Now that we have a long list of assets, we're going to move our coin age category to here along with our buyers category. Why are we doing this? Well, this allows us to view both of those metrics side by side. Here, what we want to do is pick the oldest coin with the largest market cap. Here, we found X coin over on Ethereum with 3,222 experienced buyers in the past week. In addition to that, it's got a $12 million market cap. So by manipulating the different columns, we're able to compare side by side each of the metrics that are most interesting to us based on the token we're looking for. So let's say under this query, we're looking for the oldest token with the most experienced buyers. So let's first narrow down by coin age. Here we see that the oldest coin in our list is 91 days old, but we also want a market cap that's over 10 million. So let's quickly scroll down this list. The first asset with over 10 million market cap and near the top in terms of number of days minted is MogCoin, minted 18 days ago with an over $10 million market cap. Let's take a look at the chart. Selecting the asset brings us to the token breakdown page. Here is where we've collected a variety of the most important and most interesting metrics and data related to the specific coin that we're looking at. We've got a full breakdown from Dex tools, identifying the coin to be relatively safe based on what they're evaluating. Of course, additional research should be taken, especially if we're going to exercise a large position on this asset. Looking at the chart and then switching to four hour candles, we can see a breakdown of the token price activity since launch. If drawing a line from the initial launch, we do see that the trend is generally up. Starting from token launch and drawing a line to today's price, we see that the trend is generally up and that there's support along this line, or at least there tends to be. However, there just really isn't that much price history here, and it could be that it's setting a new downward trend right now. So what we might want to do here is monitor this asset so we can wait for confirmation on what this is likely to do. If that's the case, we might consider setting a price alert at around this mark here. So let's take a look at how we do that. Moving to the top of the page and selecting the create alert button. Here we can define a token alert based on a percentage change from the current price of the asset. Specifying 10 in the input field will indicate a 10% increase above the current market price. With this specified, we only need to select save alert from the bottom of the screen in order to establish our price alert. Once that price is reached, selecting the alerts tab now 
shows our token alert within the dashboard. We'll also receive an email alert when this triggers and see that it is moved from active alerts down to expired alerts. So that concludes our look into getting started with Morales Money Pro. Go ahead and click the link below for a detailed list of custom sample alerts to get started with as you begin your own journey through Web3 and prepare to establish your own positions. At the end of the day, what you decide to do is up to you, but we do want to give you some best practices to get you started. Feel free to make them your own as you go. Once again, my name's Phil, head of research at Morales. Find me in the Morales Money Pro Discord. I'd love to hear from you and talk to you more about your Morales Money strategy and how we are preparing for the next bull cycle. See you there.